Hello professor, my name is Arun Chan and I am going to talk about data security in endpoint. In network security, endpoint security refers to a methodology of protecting the corporate network when accessed via remote devices such as laptops, mobile devices or any wireless devices. Endpoint security is an approach to protection of computer networks which are remotely bridged to client devices. It's like securing endpoints on networks such as laptops, mobile devices, desktops, etc. which, is, which are also called as end user devices. Endpoint security system works on a client server. Within the network, there would be the security software located on a centrally managed and accessible server or gateway. On each endpoint or endpoint device, they would be located the client software. The security software authenticates logins made from the endpoints and simultaneously updates client software when needed. Endpoint security also works as SaaS, which is also known as service as a service model, software as a service model. In early 2000s, there was a huge uh, spread of malware and viruses, which led to the emergence of antivirus software and personal firewall products. Information technology department wasn't aware of these malwares and were totally unprepared, which affected the endpoints in their network very badly. Hence, the endpoint security has become inevitable to practice for every IT department. There were many network and system security softwares which were released in early 2000 or 2005 which uh, some of them some of them are microsoft semantic mcafee etc in 2002 microsoft released the endpoint security software which is also known as microsoft system center 2012 and production endpoint protection with this microsoft system to 2012 users can manage their pcs and servers to set configuration and security policies, ensure software remains updated and patched with the latest fixes for security vulnerabilities, provide access to application to users and monitor system status. Few endpoint security providers are Semantic Endpoint Protection, Casper C, Total Business Security, Sophos Complete Security Suit, McAfee Endpoint Protection Suit, and Microsoft System Center. Endpoints are always a potential entry point for threats because the endpoint devices such as smartphones, laptops, tablets can be used by cyber criminals to attack networks with malware that could help them steal data from the network systems. Today the risk is even bigger as enterprises all over the world adopt practices like bringing your own device and personal devices smartphones, tablets, etc. are connected to enterprise networks. Mobile threats have shown an increasing trend in recent times. People even connect to organizational networks using their home computer. Scenarios, endpoint security gains significance since it supplements centralized security solutions with additional protection and prevents threats to secure the network. Endpoint devices would need to meet security standards before being granted network access. This would, this would help prevent threats to a great extent. Endpoint security software also helps in monitoring endpoints and endpoint devices for risky and malicious activity. For management and IT security personnel, endpoint security is an increasingly critical element for corporate networks as more employees and authorized outsiders are granted network access through the internet Endpoint security is evolving with technological advances. Some complex endpoint security programs focus on user device authentication. Security elements now include intrusion, protection and prevention as well as behavior blocking software to monitor endpoint devices activities for unsanctioned applications or malicious intent. Endpoint security, typical endpoint security solutions provide a two pronged approach with security software installed on a central server or a management console along with software installed on individual devices. Endpoint security isn't solely conducted from devices. Any device such as mobile laptop could be a potential entry point for threats and this endpoint security's motto 
is to effectively secure every endpoint connected in the network to block all the risky activities. With the increasing mobile and remote devices, the security border has been dissolved to protect the network. And the need for security measures has been increased substantially. Endpoint security along with the centralized security additionally protects the point of entry for many attacks. Endpoint security management is a policy based approach to network security that requires endpoint devices to comply with specific criteria before they are granted access to network resources. Nowadays, in network security, organizations are spending over $5 billion on endpoint security and losing the battle against advanced threat groups. The understanding of what constitutes an endpoint is changing rapidly. There are five endpoint security models. Level 1, random or disorganized, in which organizations display little to no policy, no endpoint inventory, low user awareness of security, and hawk installation in the level two reactive or tactical policy is weak overboard overbroad or poorly communicated endpoint inventory is non-existent or out of date some user awareness but no training in level three preventative form formal policy exists but may or may not have been updated recently policies like technology hardware and software inventory exist but updates are irregular in level 4, organized or directed formalized functional policies with a formal and active review cycle, automated and up-to-date hardware and software inventories. In level 5, proactive and comprehensive, continuous and measurable security program is designed and executed to anticipate change, aligned with IT, procurement and business risk, endpoints are configured and provisioned according to standards, locked down and monitored continuously. Laptops and laptops represented the most breached systems, with those breaches also reportedly involving more widespread compromise. Of of the breaches reported by 44% of the respondents who indicated they had an endpoint compromised within the past two years. 85% involved desktops, 68% involved laptops, and 55% affected servers. The most common type of data compromised was 49% was login and access credentials which can be used to gain access to other systems containing more valuable enterprise information such as personally identifiable information, intellectual property, trade secrets, source code and so on. Desktops and servers continue to be primary targets even though they are covered in a security plan because they likely contain valuable data and are relatively easily to compromise via the end user. Although mobile devices are somewhat more likely to be covered by security programs, they are also prime targets for exploitation for these same reasons. The increased use of mobile devices is likely to ex exacerbate ex ex the problem. As organizations continue to add endpoints, the attack surface will continue to expand for attackers. To protect against advanced threats, endpoint security solutions must be agile flexible and deeply integrated. They must offer a far-reaching view of the threats to prevent attacks and avert their worst effects. In the next generation endpoint security, there are like few essential elements which requires advanced definition of unknown threats. This works with existing cybersecurity products and applies global threat intelligence to identify anomalies that may be indicators of compromise. Response capabilities such as validation, containment and remediation to determine if an endpoint is experiencing a threat and if so to stop communications and help the security teams contain the threats before any lasting damage is done. Proactive and adaptive investigative capabilities to enable security teams to search and sweep for threats. The solution must be able to monitor and record forensic evidence to determine the scope of damage, including lateral speed and any data exploration. Support for on-premise, remote and mobile endpoints. Organizations are increasingly mobile 
and an increasing amount of corporate traffic bypasses the on-premise security perimeter. Consequently, any solution must support a broad range of endpoints that include servers, laptops, tablets, and mobile phones. Ultimately, a unified cybersecurity solution architecture with a broad set of capabilities to help security teams to detect protection, analyze, and respond is critical to protecting against the advanced threats targeting organizations today.